Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you some idea how to prepare for your oral presentation to deliver in scientific seminar or the conference or the workshops. So in brief, overall through this video, I want to give you idea on oral presentation. I'm sure after watching this video, you will be able to prepare an action plan for delivering in a seminar, conference or the workshops. Besides that, you will be able to correct the common mistakes in delivering your work in a seminar. Let us start with the first part that is structuring presentation. For this part, you must have a clear organized structure of the presentation that includes introduction, body and the conclusion. To prepare an effective presentation for a seminar or the workshop, first of all, you have to digest and organize the information well ahead of time. To digest any material, you have to go through your prepared article or the prepared paper at least two to three times. Try to understand it in that and then try to prepare some note. Based on that note, you have to prepare the presentation. So as already I said, you have to prepare the written material well ahead of time. You must prepare the visual material for the oral presentation after digesting and after organizing the information very effectively. So now it is the time to prepare your slide. For that you have to follow the rule that is called 7 by 7. 7 line and in each line there must be 7 words or the six line and its line should contain maximum of seven words. I mean to say the larger font size is the better. It must be readable from the last bands of a particular hall. So at the time of preparation of your slide for your presentation, for your work, so do not follow the following. Number one, if you use a small font, your audience would not be able to read what you have written so your font size should be good enough capitalize only when necessary it is very difficult to read do not use a complicated font as i have used in this sentence and then do not even think of doing this it is very difficult to read by the audience and especially for the font i would like to suggest to use Varanda or the Arial. It font signs say 28 plus up to 40 or the 44 point you can go. And in case of subtitle or the bulleted point, you can use Varanda or Arial, a size of 24 to 32 point. But in case of title, as already I have said, please use the Varanda or Arial and the font size must be 28 plus. Or it may go up to 40 to 44 point but in case of subtitle or the bulleted point it should be less point as compared to the title one for structuring the slide if you write your content in this way as i have shown in this slide it is very difficult for the spectators as well as the presenters so let us try to understand what are the difficulties for spectators and presenters if we prepare our slide just the previous one? As the slide contains too many words, all the spectators will concentrate on reading all the words. They will not listen to you. These words are not in point. It will distract the audience from you to the slide. And this audience will spend a lot of time to read without listening to you. So we should prepare our slide very effectively. To prepare an effective slide, please follow the following. Number one, always try to show one point at a time. Big picture will help the audience or the spectators concentrate on what you are saying. It will prevent the audience from reading ahead. 
and it will help you keep your presentation totally focused at the time of preparing your slide try to put a big picture and put one big idea on one slide never try to put two or three idea on a single slide this slide is very effective as from the picture itself we can say the presenter is going to say something about the apple and this is a very bad picture here too many things are focusing and immediately after seeing this type of picture the spectator will directly concentrate on the person that are present what they are wearing where are they but they should actually concentrate on the plant species they are trying to focus to the spectators but by putting this type of slide the spectator will distract from the original thing to some other thing so never 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 put such type of photograph in a particular slide regarding background color of slide we have to remember that we should avoid the background that are distracting or the difficult to read always try to use the same background on the all slides in case of dark room we should prepare dark slide with light color text that work best both for the presenters as well as spectator in case of color of a slide as well as font never follow the following number 1 the font color that does not contrast with background is hard to read number 2 color for decoration is always distracting and annoying number 3 use of different color both for each point is unnecessary and then trying to be creative can also be very very bad in a particular slide beside that you may use color in the fonts for interest and variety use too many color is unnecessary red and greens can be difficult to see for those who are color blind so we should avoid to use red and green color. regarding color contrast i would like to say please follow the following contrasting color combination number 1 black font on yellow background or yellow background with black font followed by green on white or red on white or blue on white or black on white or yellow on black or white on red or white on green followed by white on black or red on yellow and lastly red on green you can try this color combination for me personally i used to follow blue on white or white on green the picture or the sketch with caption should be meaningful without caption we should not put any type of photographs and these two photographs are very bad photographs for presentation in a particular scientific forum this is an effective slide with a very good photograph of tea twigs infested by tea aphid from the caption itself it becomes easily understandable that the presenter want to show one tea twigs which is infested by tea aphid this is a good photograph where the presenter want to show one nursery bat which is salt affected rice field of sundarban area of kaurakhali this is another good photograph where by seeing the photograph we can understand that the presenter want to show some treatment and where the presenter is trying to measure the height of the plant and this plant are say turmeric so at the time of presenting in a particular conference seminar and workshop we have to remember some of the role related to body language let us see regarding the body language we should never follow the following number 1 putting hand 
or the nodes over your mouth number 2 standing stationary or the hiding then constantly rubbing your nose ear chin etc playing with jewelry hairs coins keys etc then closing your arms or the legs at the time of presentation speaking to your nodes or to the screen and then head turned away from the audience number 1 point that uh, that is putting hand or the nodes over your mouth please avoid to do this at the time of presentation standing stationary or the hiding is a bad practice followed by many presenter constantly rubbing your nose ear chin this is also a very bad habit for many presenters besides that in many cases it has been seen the presenter they used to play with the jewelry hairs coins and keys so this is also a very bad habit for a presentation crossing your arms or the legs this is also considered as a bad habit for a presenters speaking to your nodes or to the screen so this type of practice should not be followed by any presenters in many cases many presenter they used to turn head away from the audience it should not be done by a presenters always the presenters should present their information their papers or their research work by facing towards the audiences but at the time of presentation all the presenters should follow some of the rule which i have mentioned in following slides number 1 we have to stand up straight and face the audience head on the presenter should always try to use their hands to emphasize and reinforce the point he want to discuss the presenter should vary their gestures and the positioning time to time besides that nodding your hats and smiling is considered as good body language for a presenter always the presenter should make an eye contact with all the members of audience then and then only the audience will concentrate what a presenter is going to speak regarding the dress and attire always all the presenter should follow the x factor all presenters must avoid these mistakes number 1 they should not wear very bright colored dress with wild pattern secondly jewelry that signals their arrival into the seminar hall next spiky strappy sandals in metallic color or with pana stones open toed shoes should be avoided next shoes that do not need to match your blouse casual does not mean jeans jeans are a definite no no for a presenters in case of scientific presentation in case of man they should always try to wear the more formal dress big name level do not equate to quality or the value stay away from the fashions that make you stand out from the norm and you will never go wrong with classics i mean to say classics are best choice for any scientific presentation in case of omen they should follow the rule keys means keep it simple and sophisticated dark colors convey the authority for a presenters bright colors convey friendliness light colors such as toffee and khaki are generally more casual than black gray 
or navy at the time of delivering the seminar so many points we have to remember so at the time of delivering you should try to assume that your audience is infinitely ignorant but infinitely intelligent good introduction must be there where you have to say why and what interesting of the topic that means try to create a positive impression never underestimate the audience try to make the audience oriented and you should try to entertain in between your presentation a slide if you prepare in such a way so that is not considered as a good slide by seeing this type of slide the audience will try to start reading and many a times the presenter also try to read word by word that informations are present in a particular slide so my dear friend if you are reading out a slide you are doing something wrong and i used to consider it is an insult to the audience intelligence another important point you have to remember at the time of presentation that is nobody in the world is perfect so a presenter should not try to be perfect if the presenter cannot answer a question they should be honest and say i do not know with proper grace the presenter should not try to create an impression that the question is difficult or very difficult for any oral presentation conclusion is the most important part as we know last impression always last for long so always all the presenter should make an effective and strong end as because your audience is likely to remember your last word so try to use a conclusion slide to summarize the main points of your presentation and try to suggest future avenues or the prospect of your research beside that you must speak present communicate with pose power and persuasion so you must prepare the slide by following some rule as i mentioned in earlier slides you must follow the x factor which is very important for oral presentation in a scientific forum body language should always be positive a presenter should never read the slide word by word they have to give their information in point wise or the bulleted point and based on that bulleted point they should try to explain the information he or she want to share with the audience the presenter must be confident on the subject and to develop confident they must have in depth knowledge on their research work they did and try to remember sky will not fall in your head if you cannot answer any question so all the question should be taken into considered positively and many questions may paves the way of doing more and more new research on which you have already done some part with this i would like to thank one and all for watching this video thank you